Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? Hold on, let me turn all those things off. What's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? We're doing potentially the most broken thing in all of Season 8, period, no matter what way you want to look at it, right? No matter what way you want to look at it, we're doing the most broken shit you can fucking do. Also, Tirza has 2,900 MMR, or did, last split. So he's fucking great at this video game. He's absolutely great at this video game. I'm probably gonna go... Probably gonna go Bancroft just to start off. Now I'd be thinking, Sam, you're telling me something super OP, but you're not even starting with it? Well, the, the way you have to do this with animosity, because animosity is what we're gonna be abusing today. And animosity, I'll show you here while I'm running to my buff. But, um, basically, it does a percentage of your maximum health as auto attack damage uh, to the enemy. So look, I'll show you. Um, you go down to Benevolence, hover over Animosity. It does 4% of your maximum health as magical damage doubled against structures. So, because you're Zonkwe, that's doubled initially because you have two auto attacks. Which means I'm doing 8% of my maximum health to my enemy every time I auto attack. 16% of a tower's maximum health. Or 16% of my maximum health per auto attack to a tower. Now, if we combine that with Zong's initial massive HP. Paired with just insane amounts of fucking damage. Hold on. Or insane amounts of, of max HP. Then we get just the most insane, sustained combo bullshit in the game. He's bluestone tier, which basically means I can't walk up. So I'm just going to back again. I don't really mind doing that. You know, he's going he's gonna to be abusing me early game a lot. My goal against tier early game... Is to just not die. Tirza is a extremely high level GM, like top five world GM. So this is by no means a bronze three match. This is a this is a pretty insane insane matchup here. That actually hit me. I did not think it would. He has 5 here. I have 5 here. He has blink. He doesn't have it up. If he blinks, I immediately ult. I should be safe. Hmm. I don't have damage to kill. I mean, to be honest, though, I didn't back, so I don't really know what I was thinking, but... Your tower is we'll be performing a restart of Smite in 15 minutes, huh? I got 15 minutes to clown on this guy? That's not good. Yeah, Bluestone does so much damage, man. And Tears early game is fucking abusive. Like, that man will push you down and then keep you there for the rest of eternity. So this is not going to be an easy video game at all. Oh, by the way, the reason that you, you don't start... I don't know if I said this or if I was just explaining what animosity does. The reason you don't start by picking up the tier 1 starter item is because the tier 1 makes you only get 90% of your XP. And then you fall like, super far behind. That scared the fuck out of me. You fall super far behind and then it's just not worth it. In my face, ugly. So, yeah, that's why you don't buy the starter item until you can finish the full Animosity, level 20 version. Alright, his blink is down, and I feel really safe, so... I'm extremely happy about this. The Stone of Gaia would be insane here. I will pick up a Stone of Gaia. He also is going to pick up a lot of anti-heals, so just keep that in mind. 
I'm gonna go tank boots. I'm gonna go Stone of Gaia. I'm gonna go mid guardian mail because that gives a lot of HP. I'm not gonna build damage, right? My whole build is just gonna be tank HP, tank HP, tank HP. And that's, I mean, that's straight up. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. He's gonna get my blue buff. I can't stop him. Like I said, Tier's early game is abusive. I kinda just have to let him run his train and hope to God he lets you do your thing late game. Get a little bit of mana and run back out. I don't need to wait for all of it. Your middle tower is under attack. Will he be able to take tower here? Probably not. He lives. For the ones who are wandering alone. Yeah, he's Your just gonna go and heal off those back camps. Nothing too sneaky about it. He's probably gonna try to blink on me and kill me here. Which he can do, I'm pretty sure. I have no mana, so... You actually gonna do it? No, you're not. Okay. He probably takes my tower here, though. So much sustain. I would like to have anti-heal, but Contagion doesn't have HP on it. Just has mana because it's from that same tree as Breastplate, so can't really do anything there. Stone of Gaia might be my next purchase. This is a very, very tough game to go Animosity because Animosity is all about dominating late game and just barely trying to get by an early game. So you kind of need someone that's like, like if you're gonna try to try to win with Animosity, you kind of need someone that is a pushover early game, and that is the opposite of tier. I think I even die here, maybe. It changes as 150 health. Um, it's, it's not a lot, though. Maybe he ults here? Whatever. Definitely very bad of me. I, I look like I'm dead here. Hmm, not dead, but feeling not very alive. Hmm, I think we just go tier 2 Gaia here. This guy is going to give me so much survivability against him. He's going beat stick right now, and he will have that finished. After that, I'm not sure what he's going to build. Maybe a Pestilence. He just takes tower here. I can't do anything. Those red buff too. I'm really just sitting here trying to keep up in levels because my main my main concern is getting to level 20 so I can buy Animosity, because Animosity is all of my damage. It's a tough-ass match to play. Oh, Animosity is level 17. You're right, you're right. It's a Guardian Relic, so it's level 17. Alt for alt. Fine by me. Hmm. Gonna go thorns. Yeah, 
Animosity cost how much? I think it's 2250, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. I have 2000 health already at level 12, which is fucking nuts. He got Bull Demon, which is even worse than fucking nuts. So he probably just goes and tries to take it, right? He got Crusher instead of Beatstick, by the way, which is a big mistake. The only issue I see right now is the fact that I do almost no damage. Am I dead here? I am dead here. Holy fuck, dude. This man just walks at you. Jesus Christ. The early game tier. What's my next item? I need health, right? So, it'd probably be... Oh, I could go Lono's Mask, actually. I don't care about damage output. Just push me back. probably game. Also, my stun didn't hit him there. So, this is not good. I just can't do anything to a tier. Way too much early game pressure. Mm. I mean, unless somehow I randomly get to level 17 and can buy animosity, I don't see the way we win. But, I mean, you know, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. No, that's the only issue is that, like, physical defense items that are really good against here really don't exist. Like, mid-guard, eh. It's not terrible. But it's definitely not good. You know? <laughs> Don't forget you need gold to buy it. Yeah, why do you think I'm saving gold right now? I, I, that's really what I'm I'm waiting for. He's gonna blink me, probably. Oh, he's just tanking it. There's his blink down. I can afford animosity. I just need a level and a half now. No, mystical mail is not very good because it's magical damage, so I can't go mystical. Alright, one more level and I can fight back. I guess I could go telekines. Right, like it's not the it's not HP, but it is a good fight. Good fighting item. I just need one more fucking level. And then I can do whatever I want. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. He's probably doing Boldy right now. It would, yeah, okay. Makes sense. I get a quarter a level per wave. I think I need to buy an item, man. I don't think I can wait for animosity. But I really fucking want to, because it's so good. Like, it's so much better than any other item I could buy. I guess I do have a little bit of extra gold, so I could buy a tier 1 item. I know my phoenix is going down, but I it doesn't matter because I lose it anyways. So, fucking who cares. I just need to hit level 17, man. Almost. By like tier 2 mid guard. 
By the time I hit level 17, maybe I will be able to. That was good, that was good. And I can get my animosity. Huge plays, baby. Huge plays. Okay, now... Now, that does 71 damage times 2 per auto attack. So I'm doing 140 damage by, by default now. is very strong. Now we go Telekines. So we'll add fucking two more numbies onto this. And now now we're doing big plays. Now where we can make shit happen. I'm actually higher level than him, by the way. Which is crazy. I mean, he just hit 18, but Polly does not get two hits, no. 140 and that doubles on structures. Yeah, so anytime I auto attack a structure, it'll be 280 damage. 140 on each auto. I am going to get my mid guardian here. I could go Emperor's Armor, actually. Try to dick slam him with my, with my Phoenix respawning, but I don't think that's a play. I'm just going to go mid guard. And now we go Telekines after. And we hope it's enough damage. I don't know if it's enough, but, you know, one can pray. He's doing Bull Demon again, more than likely. That scared me. Oh, you know what? Him having fucking... Him having, um, or me not having anti-heal is really bad. Honestly, not a bad fight. dead here though or am I or am I or am I or am I I'm not dead honestly a little bit yo toxic blade might be better than telekines I actually might be better it does give me HP but it only gives me a little about a little amount the main thing is the anti-heal. I don't know if it's going to do anything for me. Hmm. There's so much damage, dude. It's 250 extra from Animosity. He's very slowly poking my Titan down to, like, diveable length. is not the showcase I wanted for Animosity's Enquay. Line 50. He has Blink Up.
Nice. Nice. Big kill, baby. Big kill. Now, he almost killed my Titan, but I do have my Phoenix respawning soon. And Titan and Duel regen super quick, so... That's big, man. That's big. Grab this. Upgrade our shell. Animosity was my biggest damage dealer in that fight. By a lot. Not, not even by like, oh yeah, I did a little bit of damage. No, it was like by a fucking lot. Okay. I would love the speed buff. Can I stop him? Our Titan is doing good, man. Our Titan is doing good. It's healing up. This is fucking rough, though. I didn't know it was Thursday either, dude. This shit is tried as fuck. We could very well win the game right now. Oh baby! Oh baby, is this the comeback of the motherfucking century? Look at the animosity damage! Look at the animosity damage! Look at the animosity damage on this Phoenix! Look at this, look at this. Boom, motherfucker, boom, motherfucker, boom, motherfucker, boom, motherfucker, boom, motherfucker. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, that shit works on Titan, baby. That shit works on Titan, baby. That shit works on Titan, baby. Let's go. You hold this L, I hold this dub. Fucking 2900 LMR tier, top five in the world. Fucking slammed. Fucking slammed. Look, it, it got a little risky. It got a little risky, I'll be honest. Okay? It, there was a little bit of fear in my eyes. But at the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, I got 3,500 HP. I'm smacking bitches for an infinite amount of damage. I, I three hit a fucking Phoenix. Who cares? Who cares? It works. Holy fuck. I'm sweating, dude. I'm sweating. I'm so good at this fucking video game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I love you all, and until next time, guys.